Good morning everyone. Today I am going to teach you the chapter Women Change the World. In our last video, we studied about women's movement, its aims, what are the opportunities given to the women and the expectations from the women. Then we studied about breaking stereotypes what were the different types of stereotypes that were broken and how the women like Rokhaya Shekhawat Hussain, Ramabai, Lakshmi Lakra and Rasundari Devi, they broke the stereotypes. Today we are going to continue with the topic and we are going to study about the schooling and education today. Today getting an education or going to school is pretty common for both boys and girls. But what is perceived as common today was not so easy in the past. In the past, girls and women did not have the access to education or schools. Those girls who dared to acquire knowledge were not treated well by the society. The percentage of literate males in 1961 was 40.4% and in 2005 was nearly 76%. The percentage of women literates in 1965 was as low as 15.4% only. Through government efforts, this number has risen to 54%. Yet, almost half of the female population is illiterate. Even worse is the condition of the SCST girls, who are forced to leave the school at very early stage as compared to the other girls category. This means that the girls from the Dalit or the Adivasi background are less likely to remain in school and that there are certain reasons for this inequality. The sum of the reasons are firstly the poor families cannot afford to send their children to school and even if they do so, they usually send the male child and not the girl child, as the male is considered the breadwinner. Secondly, in the rural areas, sometimes the schools are not located nearby, which means that the girls have to travel long distances to reach the school. Parents do not consider this safe for girls and they are discriminated against in the schools particularly if they belong to the scheduled tribes category. Because of the social differences that exist in our society, the condition of the girls in the school is very backward. Next is the women's movement. Women's movement basically means when women individually or collectively struggle to bring about change in the society. The, these changes began in the 19th century when a new consciousness took place that emphasized on women's right. Throughout the years, many women have adopted different ways of fighting against discrimination. And these ways are campaigning, protesting, raising awareness. What is campaigning? Campaigning means raising the voice against injustice and violence which has been done by the women and it is the integral part of the women's movement. Women have also campaigned relentlessly against the Dovery system. Raising awareness means to make the people aware by organizing rallies, street plays, public meetings etc. And they have also protested, they have also tried to raise their voices against the discrimination and harassment at their work. Basically, the main thing is showing solidarity. It is one of the integral part of the women's movement. In this way, we can know how the women have been a part of the Indian society, how they fought and have risen and got to the position they are today. So that is all for today. Thank you and have a nice day.